Hey, I'm Alex. I'm an artist from Vancouver, Canada, and I was trying to get dressed the other day, but I found that I was just so insanely bored of like literally all of my clothes. So then I thought to myself, wait a second, why not make a custom outfit? So that's what we're gonna be doing in this video. We're gonna be painting, printmaking, and just overall making some really cool wearable artwork. But before we get doing all that stuff, we need to get some inspiration for our designs. Let's go for an adventure. The first stop we made was Bates Park, a hidden gem that connects to the Trans-Canada Trail and Burnaby's Montrose Park. Here you can find a whole bunch of tree houses built by the community, each holding so many stories and memories. And although they were pretty sketchy to climb, it made the excursion so much more fun and challenging. Not only was me being bored of my clothes a reason to do this project, but lately I've noticed that I've been reminiscing a lot about the past. Specifically with my childhood, I find that the older I get, the more responsibilities I have, which is totally fine, but I find they completely zap my creativity and I really miss viewing the world in a positive and playful way. So with this adventure and painting, my goal was to find the essence of my inner child and create something that I think little Alex would be happy with. All that climbing definitely made me and my friends hungry, so our next spot was Bonds. Bonds off Broadway is far from a hidden gem, but a gem nonetheless. The food is really good and the restaurant is covered in graffiti, perfect for taking cool photos and getting more art inspiration. It's such a fun spot to grab some food, chill out, and of course make some more memories, the key theme of this video. Nostalgia is a funny feeling. It's about longing for a time in your life when things seemed easier and more fun. But with that being said, who says growing up needs to be something that we dread? How about we keep having fun adventures that keep us young at heart? So, how very on brand that our last stop of the day was a drive-in movie. Something we all had fun experiencing as children, and even more fun revisiting as adults. Get some snacks, cuddle up with some blankets in the back of a truck, and relax. So now that we've gone on our adventure and gotten the inspiration we needed, it is finally time to start making our custom outfit. Okay, I'm currently being like blinded by the sun. But anyways, um, first step to pretty much any painting I do, no matter what it's on, is always the background. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna be painting the background of these shorts. I've sectioned off pieces that I don't want any paint to be on. And I'm gonna be doing a background with spray paint because it's cool and it's fun and it's just easy to block out a whole bunch of shapes at the same time. So yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, so now that I have the brainstorming done on my iPad and I can see how it's going to look and I have everything mapped out, it's going to make the painting process a lot easier and like way more efficient and honestly just a lot more fun for me and I'll have to stress out about like proportions and like where to like put it because I've already done that all on the brainstorming. So I definitely like to plan things out as an artist, like that's just how my process works because again, I find the painting just so much more fun and enjoyable that way. So, with that being said, let's start painting. I have my reference just right beside me, so I'm always like looking at that. And that's kind of like the process for most of my art. Yeah, I just start from the background and work my way up, and then I have things that I'm constantly looking at. And then sometimes I have Pinterest opened on my computer just for inspiration, because I constantly want to be surrounded by things that inspire me, because I find that's when my art becomes better. So I definitely had an idea of what this painting was gonna look like before I even picked up my paintbrush or my Apple pencil. It's kind of funny how some projects just work out like that. You're in the moment, having your adventure, and then boom, a wave of inspiration just hits you. But yeah, it's fun just to be able to like start with that feeling and that idea and then see it come to life and materialize that memory onto like clothing that you can wear. I think that's a really cool idea because most of the time for like painters, you know, you're painting on a canvas and you have so many and you kind of just chuck them in your closet and they never see the light of day. But because I'm painting on something I can wear or my friends can wear, it's like an everlasting piece of art that is constantly living and existing in the world. And I think that's such a fun concept and idea. I feel like customizing an outfit is so much deeper than just making a cool looking thing. I think it's a new way of self-expression and I think it's nice to be able to wear your memories with you forever. I think art is a great tool to be able to process and reminisce on the past while at the same time help us look forward to new adventures in the future. 
It doesn't matter what type of media you're working in, every method of creativity has the potential to impact the way we look at the world around us. That's why it's so important to get out exploring and make something fun. So yeah, just a reminder to feed your inner child and make some art. Okay, so shorts and shoes are done. Now it is time to work on the shirt. Instead of painting, I thought it would be fun to do some printmaking. If you guys didn't already know, I'm a student at Emily Carr. I'm in my third year studying illustration and I've done a lot of printmaking classes and Emily Carr has like a super high-end print studio. It is so good to work in. So I'm gonna be bringing you guys there. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a tour and then we're gonna get printing all these shirts. So yeah, let me take you guys to art school. Um, Here's the print studio. It's beautiful. There are so many windows, so much natural light. It always makes me so inspired to create more artwork. So, screen printing is such an interesting thing. <laughs> like, it's the process is crazy. So, I just put the emulsion on my screen in that weird little dark room, and then basically I had to like burn this transparent image onto that screen once it was like all dry and stuff. Um, I learned all these techniques at school, but you know, you could totally just learn it on your own. The only thing is, having a studio like Emily Carr is kind of hard to come across. So I'm very, very lucky to be able to like just go to school and then practice this sort of form of art that's a little bit hard to do on your own. Anyways, I was getting printing. Um, screen printing is kind of funny because you have to work really, really fast because the ink can dry like really easily. But um, you flood the screen and then you pull the ink through all these little like you know, the dots of the image that were burnt through the screen. Um, so yeah, I was just printing, printing, printing. I did shirts for my friends, which was kind of hard to print on. I had to flood the screen like a lot. Um, but yeah, I did a project last year for my final printmaking critique. But yeah, so I did like a set of t-shirts and that I designed and oh my God, like half of them didn't even turn out. It was like such a mess. But I figured out the technique to print on fabric so that this project was way easier. So yeah, I think sometimes art can just be like trial and error and it kind of sucks, but you just gotta like <laughs> keep playing around with it. With that being said, shirts are done, shorts are done, and the shoes are done. So let's take a final look at the outfit. As we come to the end of the video, I just want to remind you guys to get out of your comfort zone. It can be so easy to fall into a routine that zaps all the fun away from life. I get it. Work and school and other stuff can get super insane sometimes, but when it does and you feel stuck, you just need to take a little leap of faith and do something that feeds your soul. For me, that's art and other activities, but it's different for everyone. So get out, stay creative, and have fun with how you look at the world around you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.